Hey guys, today we are playing in the Sunday Open, round one. We're playing as a senior division, and we're playing up against a master. No idea what this deck is, because they don't give us access to our lists. But let's play. For You're allowed to switch your deck. That's a unique thing about this tournament. So we are starting off by playing um, ADP Spiritomb. If we go first, that would be super good for us. We lost to Queen of Lip, unfortunately, so we're probably going to go second. That's still decent because you can get a turn. Um, turn we can get we can get it altered soon. And this is a nice opener, huh? Probably gonna want to open the ADP here because it's a little bit more tanky than my other Pokemon. Let's see what we're up against here. In the first one, I don't think we need to start two on our bench because if we get sent up, that would be annoying with like a feeling. Looking like it's a Pikaram. This matchup is not the best, not the worst. I think it's good because we did tech a Mew in this deck. Because I played against Pikaram on ladder. And I realized I was struggling with it. Because they had the early tag bolt, which was really good for them. So I'm thinking that, hmm. If they get the, um. If they get a tag bolt off, that could be really bad for me. So. Okay, there's a pass from my opponent, so now it's our turn. We're going to start off by going Jirachi. Going to start off by going Spiritomb. Going to super scoop up to see if we can go into Jirachi. We can. So Jirachi will come in. Going to put ADP down. Going to Rainbow 2 the ADP. Going to Big Charm the ADP. Hmm, I don't know. Should I put the Dene down? Should I Marnie? No, she's not by one building spite. No, no, decide. I know we do not want to bench Denny in this matchup. He has a three card hand though. But I assume he's pretty clutch cards because he went for the Coco with the quick ball. That tells me he probably has at least like a research in his hand. But on the other hand, I'm running his hand from three to four, which is a little bit bad. Hmm. Probably gonna want to go with the, um. I kinda like the Denny here actually. But if we go that, then he'll be able to... But it'll clog over the bench. I have, like, a Marnie here. So we're gonna Marnie. Okay. It's a nice hand. We can go another two, and we'll go down. I'm gonna go use Build Spite. I'm gonna Stellar Wish. Hmm. There's nothing here I really like that much, honestly, but, um... We can't get a switch for another Stellar for another turn. This might be good. I kind of like the switch for next turn to set us up. Because we will want to try to go with the Mew next turn. So we're going to go with the switch. Then we'll go Jirachi will go down. And we'll also put Jinx down. Letting us move damage around with Omnius Posture from ADP to Spiritomb. And then I like our, hand, I like our game state, so we're going to pass to our opponent. Okay, so here we see our opponent tag calling. Probably can get him the full blitz, which is not, which is expected. Because then when he gets the full blitz, then we're going to try to respond with the oath creation and a Mew on our bench. If Mew is prized, that could be a little bit of a problem for us. But on the other hand, he needs four electro power to knock us out, which is... Super hard to do with Pikaram on the other hand. But here he is. We're going to see him probably going to go with the full blitz here. There's a Thunder Mountain. There's a um, Speed Lightning Energy. That might have been a little bit of a mistake. Only if he had, oh, yeah, there, he got Air Balloon. That wasn't a mistake. I thought he might have had. I forgot he got Air Balloon with his. Um, there's a Zapdos. He might be going with Thunder Bits of Soul. Hmm. I don't know if I like that that much. I, don't, I think it, the right move would probably go to P, with Pika. Because you can attach three to like his... Oh, you can just go with Thunderous Assault. Hmm. I don't think I like that that much, actually. I mean, fine, I guess it's conserving his Pika, but... 
It's only doing. It's only going to knock out my Jirachi for a prize trade. I mean, I guess it might help him with a prize trade a little bit. But we do play Super Scoop Ups in our version, so we might. We're probably going to just pick up his ADP and get rid of his um game plan. There's a Thunder Burst Assault for the knockout. Okay, I'm going to bring up Jirachi. Do a switch in hand. There's a Quick Ball top deck. Here, this might be when we have to go for the Dene, but we're going to first check Stellar Wish to see if we can get like a research or something good off it. There's a research. We don't need another big charm, so we're gonna go quick ball big charm. Hmm. You might want to go for a Mew just to protect her bench in case you want to go like full blitz, like swing in. That could be bad. So, I think we're gonna probably go with Mew here. Yep, Mew. Okay, so we're gonna go Mew. Gonna bench barrier, which stops him from using tag bolt GX. Then we switch into ADP. And we will professors research. Hopefully we get energy. There's an Aurora. It's really good. Starting off with Acro Bike. Definitely taking um hmm. It's kind of a hard choice actually. The Dene might be good late game, but um But the de but two, we don't really want to bench the Dene in this matchup that much. And we do have Jirachi, so I think we're gonna take the tomb here. And then we have the Aurora in hand, just our energy. So we're going to Aurora, discard an ADP because it's practically useless. Here's a hard choice. We could put our Black Market Prism down. It will get rid of his Thunder Mountain, but then if he bumps it, I think we should because it will get rid of his Thunder Mountain, which is I think will be really effective for us. Yep, yeah, we'll probably put it down because it will get rid of his um, Black Market. And then we're going to just end our turn with Ultimate Creation GX. That was a nice start for us. Whew, I think we're in a good spot. This is Jirachi, my opponent. Good to know he's playing Jirachi version. Oh, I know what this is. This might be um oh E powers. He might get a, he might get the knockout. No way. He needs like two more E power for the knockout. Okay. That would not put us in a good spot. If he had the knockout with the E powers. See, I have it. Bolt end, okay. It's practically impossible to get four E power. You mean he needs three E power plus two scrapper. Okay, full blitz, okay. If this scoop up goes our way, that could be really good for us. Or we might try to just get the kill with two, which might be good. Depends. Because we do have the option to tower call for Cynthia Caitlin. But if we do get a scoop up heads, that could be really good. Or probably start off by going Omni as posture with Jinx to let us move a damage counter to this tomb that we're looking to attack with this turn. So there's a. There's a. Um, full, blitz to Bolt Hunt. I'm gonna start by going Omni as posture from there to there. I'm gonna super scoop up. Heads! Okay, that is really good for us. Because now we can go, um, five, yes, and that got on the, um, maybe we should try to go for the, um, bolt hunt here. Because now we're going to set up this tomb, and we do have black market prism in play. So here, now we're going to go with, um, spirit tomb, rainbow, here. Then we're going to go with build spite on this one. Then we're going to go with another tomb down. We're going to build spite on that one. We unfortunately do not have enough. Oh, yeah. What we could do is we can go um, Big Charm here and maybe kill under Bolt Hunt. That might be better and more effective because then we could also Great Catcher or Zero Aura up later. I'm actually kind of down for that. I think it's actually a really good move for us. So we're going to go Big Charm here. Oh, we already jinxed. No big deal. They're probably going to knock us out anyways. Go into Thin It. Okay. So we need a Boss Order up to Zero Aura. Yep. Oh shoot, I could have did Bolt Hunt. No big deal, I forgot we didn't spite yet, but it's all right. There's a Hustle Belt for next turn, that's nice. There's a Switch, and there's a Marnie. Okay, those are nice cards. 
a little bit of a misplay in our end, but I think it will change the whole game. I think we're just too ahead at this point. I think our scoop up heads literally changed the game. Because now our ADP is in our hand, our opponent cannot take three prizes on it. And he also burned two E power while doing it. This is why this deck's really good. If he has a tool scrapper, that could be bad because he, he'll get rid of our big charm. There's an energy switch. But we do have Mew down. That was my new addition to this deck. Because I, when I was playing against this deck on ladder, I realized that I think it's lacking Mew. Because when I was playing it a lot, it was really unfortunately missing Mew. A really key card for this deck. There's a Marnie. It's a little bit bad, but I guess it's not the worst thing possible. Okay, that hand's kind of nice. Uh, I actually kind of like that. Because you can go Tag Hall for Cynthia Caitlin to get Boss Order back in my deck. There's a Retreat in the Zapdos, and there's probably going to be a Thunderous Assault. We're probably going to be really aggressive this turn. Let's see if we have a chance at game. Or the Dene is down. Okay, Thunderous Assault, Knockout. That's fine with me. He doesn't take any prizes because of black market, which is really good. I'm gonna probably promote Chirachi. Draw for turn. Super scoop up. I don't know how that how much that could do for us. Um, Pine shop. We might just want to go with Cynthia Caitlin this turn. I kind of like that because that can let us draw cards and get our boss back for next turn. Hmm. Because unfortunately, there's no way for us to get game this turn. Okay, Tech Hall. Grabbing his ADP, Cynthia Caitlin. And we will use Cynthia Caitlin. Gonna do that. Gonna discard away the ADP. Gonna get Boss's orders back. Oh, yeah, our orders was down. Both of our orders were down, so, okay. Then we're gonna build Spite. Okay, we're gonna build another Spite. Then we're gonna jinx Omnius Posture from there to there. Is our ordinary rod down? Let me check. Nope. Okay. So we're probably gonna want to go with Roar Rainbow here. I don't really want to kill the Zapdos. I don't think that really sounds that like good to me because if they can stamp us, that could definitely change the game. I think we're gonna rainbow there. That's correct. We're gonna Jirachi. Then we're gonna Stellar Witch. We didn't even do that yet. Can I get a skateboard? Can I get a skateboard? Okay, so I'm gonna retreat back into another Jirachi and then get another Stellar Wish off to set us up more for next turn. Like that hustle belt right there. We actually have a chance to get a game this turn. If we could draw on the Great Catcher, it would be game. There's Acrobite, come on. Ah, okay. That's Tomb, though, so that's nice. Then we'll get Sailor. We might as well... How many belts will be down? We're down no Hustle belts, but I still kind of want to save it in my hand because he could easily scrapper it. Which could be bad. Because we don't have access to his list, so we don't know what he has in this deck. So, I think we can just um, pass our turn to our opponent right now. So, now we'll just end our turn. I was getting a little bit scared about reset stamp there because if he stamped me, that could be really bad. Especially if we didn't hit anything off our stellar wish. That could literally change the game. There's a Marnie. That's, not, that, that, that's kind of bad, but it's all right because... Oh, that's great catcher. Okay, if we can get hustle belt, let's game. We're probably gonna try to dig for it as hard as we can. Big charm. Oh, listen, that's not good. Big charm. Big charm. Okay. Um, that's not that great for us, but 
If we can always draw a hustle belt plus boss, that would be just a good spot. Guts Hala, okay. Mm. But we are really, if you look at the prize race, then we're in a good spot. Okay, so he's going to take a kill on Jirachi, then take a prize. We're going to bring Jirachi up. I'm going to try to go for the game on the bolt hunt. There's a rainbow top. I guess it's a little bit closer. Starting off with Acrobike. Puzzle Belt. What are we at? 190? Okay. So if we can find a boss off this Stellar Rush, we will win. Because, yeah. 5, 250. I were 220 short on Picaram. No boss. Oh, man. Okay. Huh. It's a little bit, puts me in a little bit of a rough spot. But, um, I think, I think it's correct to take, how many Jirachi are we down? We're down all of our Jirachis, okay. It's a little bit bad, but it's okay. Um, we do have Ordinary Rod in hand, so that's going to back. So we're going to take Quick Ball here, because we do have Research in hand. Okay, let me make sure we just want Pokemon, yep. Let me Ordinary, going to just shuffle up to two. Grabbing a Jirachi in the tomb, or I could go to Jirachi in the Dene. I kind of like that aggressive approach by me. I kind of think that's a good play because he's at four prizes. If he takes a Dene, he'll be at two. We'll help him, but if we go with the Dene with the aggressive approach, that might put us in a good spot. So we're going to go with that. We did not support her yet, if I'm correct. Okay, so then we're going to hustle belt. Yeah, we're already knocking on Bolton, so. So let me go. Might as well go rainbow here. Quick ball. Great catcher. It gives us to Dene with Dene change. How many boss? We have one boss left. We do have Acrobike and we did Stellar Wish, but we do have Jirachi in deck, so we definitely have ways to find it. But we are going to be aggressive with the Dene here. No boss yet, but we do have Acrobike. We have a. Uh, 15 card deck. No boss. Hmm. We might want to try to scoop up this, the um, Jirachi, so we'll try to go with that. Yep, we're going to try to go scoop up Jirachi. Okay. Ah, Tails. It's a little bit bad, but, um. We might just want to take a KO now. Because we're so ahead, we're ahead but for sure. But the Dene being down is a little bit bad. Or an idea is we can just go with um, research. Kind of like that. Yeah, we're going to research. I like that. Research hand. No boss yet. But now I think our deck's thin, so we're going to just thin out some cards like Tag Call, which is like completely useless. And also, Jinx, which is useless, with Quick Ball. So we're going to get rid of Jinx. Going to put his Tomb in our hand. And then we're going to just sacrifice Jinx, I guess, here. I'm going to sacrifice Mew. I kind, of wanna, I kind of like Jinx, though, because I don't think this is good. So we'll just rig Jinx up, and then we will... Um, we need, maybe we should Spite. Yeah, if we Spite, that would be good for us. Okay. And then we will pass to our opponent right now. Who? Kind of an unfortunate turn, I would say. Because we had, like, so many outs to get in game. But we just didn't get there. But if you look at the prize trade, then you think we're in a good spot. Because we're in a five-card deck. It would actually might be correct for him to take my Jirachi out here. Because if we get Stellar Wish, we just win. Okay, Volkaner, this can get us him stamped, probably. So it's good we didn't take the Zapdos out, because if that if that if we did that, that would be bad for us. And I kept Super Scoop up in here just because if we can get a Hedgehog to Dene, then we could Dene change. And he's only stamping us to three. Oh, Switch? Huh? Huh? I don't think I like that play that much for my opponent. Okay, there's a switch in a Jirachi? Huh? 
I have no idea what he's trying to do. I think he's like so far behind. There's a Marnie, but he already Volcanored this turn. We might have him. He needs reset stamp. This is his only way to win. If he doesn't have stamp, we win. Kills me with Zapdos. We win. I guess I'll see a way for him to win. Yep, that's might be it. Nothing like that's it. Thunder vs. Assault. I'm going to take a win prize card for my opponent. We do a big Jirachi up. And we do a free retreat because we have skateboard. And then we get Stellar Wish to get our black boss's orders. What we need for our game. Then we will boss his bolt on up. And then we will retreat in the Spirit Tomb. Then we will go with Anguish Cry for the game. Good game. We need a screenshot for this. Things. So now we are 1 0 going up against um, saving the photos. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. See you all back soon for round two.